southern China has caused the heaviest rain of the flood season. Torrential rain, strong winds, and thunderstorms have caused flooding to occur in Hunan, Jiangxi, Guangdong, and other areas. Water was waist deep along the roads, and firefighters urged residents to evacuate. Some residents were carried on firefighters' backs to the hospital as cars became flooded with water, leaving people stranded. Amid the flood, people found it challenging to move around. The Beijing News reported on May 11 that there was a citizen trapped in a car on National Road 105, Sanqiang Town, Zhongshan City. In addition, many citizens in Sanqiang were unable to seek medical treatment due to the flooding. According to the report, 10 locations in Guangdong have issued red warnings for severe rain with more than 100 millimeters of rain falling in three hours, while eight locations have issued orange warnings for heavy rain, thunderstorms, and strong winds with more than 50 millimeters in three hours. Guangdong has become submerged in muddy brown water due to the torrential rain, and the city now resembles an ocean. Many vehicles became submerged, and with facilities inoperational, the critical situation arose due to the high level of stagnant water. Because of the food shortages, lockdown, and restricted movements due to COVID-19, people might struggle even more in the times ahead. days ago relating to uh, 
The rivers turn red all over in, in China. Lockdowns, and you have in uh, major torrential rains. You give all praise to Allah, Shem Yil Shabbat, Shem Rakhakadash. The Bible is today as an apostle for the vacation knowledge and the Wadi Allah, Shem Yil Shabbat. For uh, putting the spirit of the elders and apostles, so we come edified regarding this truthful knowledge. Learn this truthful knowledge. Give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Rakakadash. There's a video relating to. Uh, the river turning blood. Many abnormalities take place in China these days. Following the sudden turn of blood red in the sky a few days ago in Zhoushan, Zhejiang province, now comes the reddening of the river in Baise, Guangxi province. According to mainland media reports, on May 10th, local residents found that the water of the Lali River turned blood red overnight. Some people worry that the blood-covered river water might be poisonous. They suspect that this may be related to the illegal charge of the local starch factory. However, the person in charge of the starch company refused the accusation because the factory had been shut down for four years. Local officials confirmed the red body of water in the river. However, they need further investigation to find out the reason. Earlier, authorities attributed the blood red sky in Zhejiang to the refraction phenomenon of light from ships. However, netizens were not convinced. There are a few more abnormalities in the sky reported in China recently. Notably, the yin and yang sky appeared over Beijing on May 9th. The blue sky and white clouds were nicely balanced in the sky. White clouds covered half of the sky, and there were no clouds in the other half. Many regions have recently witnessed the sun halo, or thunderbolt snow phenomenon. Another rare climate phenomenon is the castle-shaped clouds. They suddenly took place in the Liaoning Fushun region, last December. Half were dark while the other were clear. The Chinese believe that these visions are ominous signs of misfortune and chaos. That was um, spot on China. Two videos relating to the flood, related to um, um, the blood in the water. Also, it looked like an opening in the sky with the sun in the middle. In the cloud, in a strange cloud formation, relating to in China, pretty much ominous sign. Let me get some scriptures real quick. Let's get one for the. Uh, Second Asterisk, um, fifteen and um. Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. That's a warning for destruction. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings and princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power, man. So you're seeing that sedition uprising, uproars of the people, people taking, uh, putting the power back in their hands, and that not regarding the kings and princes. A man should not be able to, uh, they're going to protest over different social, economical, and, uh, and uh, financial aspects. Relating to um, reasons why they protest and, uh, and uproars. Scriptures talk about uproars of the people. You'll see uproars of the people and, um, earthquakes and, and earthquakes and uproars of the people. A man shall desire to go into a city and should not be able to. Curfews, lockdowns. For example, in Shanghai, what they're experiencing. They're talking about June 1st. June 1st. Um, June 1st, they're supposed to lift up um, relating to those lockdowns. If it's because of their prize, the city shall be in trouble. So the city's going to be in trouble, right? Because of what? State and conditions. The houses shall be destroyed, men shall be afraid. Scripture talk about. Um, man shall desire to see and hear someone. Lead us in 2nd Ezra 6, 16 and 27. Um, 
So they're gonna desire to communicate and see, but we'll be able to. Let's get um But when you shall hear of wars and commotions, commotions, disturbances, 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 um, up, um, disturbances, um, and, um, and, and, um, and uproars of the people. So uproars, um, disturbances, uh, uproar, uh, uproars of the people. Read that again. Shalak on that. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must come first. Things must come first to pass. But the end is not. But the end is not. Is not by and by. So these things got to come to pass, man. You're gonna hear these um these things. You're gonna hear rumors of wars and hearing rumors of wars, commotions, disturbances, uproars of the people. You're gonna hear these are the things you're gonna you're gonna hear about that scripture is talking about. And you're seeing these things happen and manifest. And then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. That's what you're seeing, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. These different power structures, superpowers, you seeing them upright, you seeing them build up the tensions between these nations and these kingdoms, man. Eleven. And then great earthquakes in different places, famines and pestilence. You seeing pestilence, plagues, blood moon, you seeing uh, the blood moons, different types of wolf moons, different types of variety of moons, the lunar moons. You seeing calamities happen, plagues happen all over the world. Water turning into blood, strange formations, um, ominous uh, formations relating to the clouds. For example, in China, you're seeing um, like a, 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 a black hole in the center of the, um, the sky in China. You know what I mean? So all these calamities, these ominous things are happening. It looks like a, a giant ring or, or something with the sun in the middle. Read that again. And the great earthquakes and shall be in different places of famines and pestilence and fearful sights. So you go see fearful sights, chariot sightings. They have a committee hearings about relating to that. They've been having committee hearings over 55, over 56 years. I believe the first one was in 1966 relating to that. Um, and the pestilence and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from the heaven. So all these signs, these ominous signs are coming from the heaven, man. These are warnings for ultimately before Yahweh Shem Yashah come back, man. That's why all these strange things are happening on Earth. Uh, measure that town diligently itself. For the um, the, the signs of things that we're talking from since the beginning, man. So measure how you measure that time diligently in itself, correlating it what's going on in uh, the things that's going on in society, correlating with the scriptures, man. Measuring it with the scriptures, man. Especially regarding the prophecies, for the, on the Lord is beginning to visit the earth which He has made. He's visiting what? For many great miseries shall be done in the latter times because they walk, walk great, great, great in pride, man. These miseries and calamities are, caught, are coming upon them because these people have walked great in pride, great in pride. So the Lord is beginning to visit the, the world which He has made, man. I don't want to make this too long. On this, um, to the point. Um, so that was those three videos related to lockdowns, um, um, talking about lifting them up beginning June 1st next month because their economy is, um, affected by these lockdowns, which ultimately directly and directly affects worldwide, globally, man. That being said, this brother Zayab, I hope it helps in some way. Give all praise. Yahweh, Shem, Yosha, Shem, Rakakadash, Shawan. Thanks.